so for right now, and an Austin favorite is due for a facelift. We're talking about how work is starting today to repair the aging water treatment plant at Emma Long Park. And the only problem is, in order to do so, the water has to be turned off. Our Sophia Beausoleil is live at Emma Long Park this morning in Northwest Austin. Hi, Sophia. Good morning to you, Brian and Sally. So people who come to the park will find this sign, a notice telling them that all the water is shut off, and that's because of this water treatment plant. So the park doesn't rely on the city. It relies on itself for fresh water, and in order to make repairs, they have to shut it all off. Well, we don't run. She does. But. Gotcha. <laughs> Mike and Candace Shoup, along with their dog, Missy, are <laughs> avid travelers. The Arkansas couple will take their Candyland camper to visit parks across the country. One of their favorites is Emma Long Metropolitan Park in northwest Austin. You kind of rely on the places you're going to camp at. But now finding necessities like clean water at Emma Long Park will be more difficult. It's, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with the water. It's just the fact that the, the plant that processes it needs repair. For the next two months, there will be no water, which means no restrooms, showers, water fountains, or utilities for camping. We'll, we'll you know, replace a section of pipe here, or put another faucet in here, or, you know, we'll replace, but it, it's just Band-Aids, and at some point, you can't keep putting a Band-Aid on an open wound, you know, it's, you've, you're going to have to just do some surgery and fix it. In April, the state sent a letter to the Parks and Recreational Department saying its 28-year-old water treatment plant needed a makeover. A contractor will have to drain the 50,000 gallon groundwater storage tank to repair rusted walls, pipes, and other cosmetic issues. I'm sure some people will be, you know, um, inconvenienced a little bit. There are portable bathrooms set up all over the campsite, and park officials are reminding people to bring their own water, but that can still be a nuisance. It wouldn't last the five days. It might last four days if we were careful, but, you know, if you take a shower every day, it's, it, you're using a lot of water. Despite the water troubles, folks like the Shoop say they'll continue to enjoy what Mother Nature has to offer. This is a beautiful park, guys. Anybody who doesn't know about this park needs to come out and see it after March. <laughs> Now, park officials want to remind everybody the park is open. You can come and fish and do whatever you love to do outdoors. You just want to be prepared and bring your own water. Now, coming up in 30 minutes, we are going to talk to the ground supervisor and hear what he has to say about what you need to do to come prepared to the park. Reporting live in Northwest Austin, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Sophia.